Deputy Chief Minister Advocate Francis D'Souza on Saturday stated that each of the government departments should have their websites updated on a regular basis. A social activist had served a notice to the Chief Secretary alleging that the government had deliberately kept the official websites non-functional. The activist further demanded that all websites should function properly within 15 days pointing out that Section 4 of the RTI Act mandates that all information should be uploaded and regularly updated on all government websites. Advocate Iris Rodericks had stated that by failing to do so, the government was denying information to the public. Every website has to be updated, especially by a government. government. Well, it's, uh, they are responsible, the department is responsible. They have to update the website. No excuses for that. Don't the department have to update Mr. D'Souza also informed the media about his visit to Delhi. Digital India Monday conference at conference, IT Minister in Delhi, under the leadership of Ravi Shankar Prasad. Mm. So, in that there were two issues. One was listening to ministers from various states. I think I have a Shankar Prasad. What is notice the reasons why IT is not coming to Goa? Because we want to sell land to IT industry. Mm. Whereas other states are giving it free. And secondly, in IT, there are special economic zones yeah. where there is import duty exemption, custom duty exemption, and uh, exemption from income tax. It can only benefit us. To income tax exemption, dinna, import duty exemption, dinna, custom duty exemption. Dinna. We cannot compete with other states.